So, you've decided to battle your bits. Good move. I'll quickly break down the starting weapons so you can pick one that you like, and I'll talk about the best classes for new players. I have now made a full guide on every starting gun, so in the description I'll provide links to every in-depth weapon guide if a gun interests you. The AK-74 is a starting assault rifle, and it is a reliable, all-purpose option. It has a consistent 4 bullets to kill against most players, and it has a very good reload speed which means you can stay in the fight easily. It is amongst the quickest drop reload times in the game. For downsides, the recoil makes it miss some shots at long range, but you can still use this gun well past 100 meters with the build I use. It is a flexible and forgiving gun that is good at most ranges. The M4A1 is a slightly more controllable gun than the AK-74 because it has less recoil. All you have to do to control it is slightly pull down with your mouse. The M4 is very accurate, even at long range. A big benefit of the M4 is that it remains accurate in full auto, even when fully suppressed. It does have a worse reload time than the AK. Pick this over the AK if you prefer a more passive or long range playstyle, as it's more accurate but also has worse uptime due to its worse reload speed. The L86 is the starting weapon for the support class, and in my opinion is a top gun for the class. This gun has a very fast time to kill compared to the M4 and AK. It also has controllable recoil and it's in the support class, which means you get access to exo armor. I will discuss exo armor more in the class section of this video. The negatives are that you will move slowly due to the heavier armor and you will also aim slower too. The reload time is also slow until you get quick max unlocked. These combine to make it play more defensively than the AK and M4. You need to move slowly and deliberately with this class. The MP7 is a great gun for close range fights. At level 15 you will unlock light armour for most classes, such as the assault class, and this is where the MP7 shines, as it has the joint highest base movement speed in the game. When combined with light armour, you become very fast and you can use it to get up close and behind enemies. As a close range gun, you want to fight below 40 meters due to its damage drop off starting there, so it can't be used too well on more open maps. But in the right situations, its high move speed and good time to kill make it easy to get high kill games with. The UMP is a starting SMG and it shares many traits with the MP7. This is also best with light armour at level 15, and everything else I said about the MP7 applies here too. They both have the same playstyle. Pick this over the MP7 if you prefer the feel of slower firing but heavier hitting weapons. I would not recommend sniping to a brand new average player, as it's a style of play that requires the most map and game knowledge to be successful. I suggest at a minimum waiting until level 80 before giving it a try, as you'll then get access to the G18 sidearm, which is a great defensive tool as well as giving you access to the L96, which is slightly better than the starting sniper. If you're new, I'd recommend playing two classes. The first is the Assault class. This class has access to every gun mentioned except the L86. It also has these passive bonuses that can give it an edge in combat. Additionally, if you take the small ammo kit, you can have infinite primary ammo and you can take two more bandages from each ammo box you drop, meaning you effectively get 10 bandages when using this class. The second class I'd recommend trying is Support. As previously said, Support is the only class with access to EXO armor, making them take extra shots to kill, but also making them move and aim slower. This makes their role a defensive one, as you can negate both the movement and aim penalties by having your sights already up. The armor plating can really help you as you're learning the game, as you get bonus health on each respawn that can win you fights, and snipers cannot one-shot you through an exo helm. So that's my quick overview of all the starting weapons. Trying them all out will help you understand what playstyle and engagement ranges you enjoy fighting in the most. I'll link my full guide to them in the description. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. 
Thank you for watching.